Well, Simon, congratulations. Obviously, you scored the crucial goal. What uh, have the celebrations been like for you and the players following that? Yeah, obviously, we're delighted. Um, it was a tight game, very scrappy, um, typical cup game, really. Um, you could feel the tension around uh, the ground. And uh, we'd obviously be delighted because we've got, a, we've got a massive game, probably one of the biggest in the club's history as well. Where would this rank in terms of your career playing Manchester United? Yeah, it's right up there. To be fair, I played them before in uh, the Cup with Southampton in the third round as well. So, um, you know, they, they had a great team then and I'm sure they will now. you just got to look every weekend, uh, the sort of stars they're producing and uh, playing every week for them. Manager just said there was a bit of tension around. Perhaps you could see that in the game as, as players out there today. Could you? There's so much hinging on it. Could you? You sense the tension around? Yeah. Um, I don't think anyone wanted to make a mistake or, you know, be at, be at fault for a goal. So it was it was a bit like that. Um, and the time was ticking on. I looked up at the clock and it was 75. And you know, I was wondering whether it was going to go um, in extra time. But um, luckily we got the goal and um, then we we got another one to finish them off, which was great. You scored the goal, the ball drops down, suspicion of handball. They weren't very happy about it at all. What was it like from your point of view? Any, any suspicion of handball? Um, it was more on my shoulder, to be fair, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's open to interpretation, and the ref uh, decided it wasn't. And, um, you know, I just I tried to get the ball on target and it went in, so I was delighted, and you could probably tell that I was delighted from my reaction. And then back into the dressing room afterwards, and obviously the realisation dawns. You've got Manchester United. What's, what's the mood like amongst the lads? Yeah, obviously everyone's buzzing, and um, we, we're trying to we tried to concentrate on the game in hand. And um, you know, to be fair to the lads and everyone with the club, I think we did that quite well. Because um, uh, you can get carried away sometimes with with that in front of us, but we concentrated. We did the job we needed to do. And then you know we, we're celebrating in the uh, in the change room because, like I said, it's one of the biggest games the club the club will ever have. Do you and the players sense this could be a turning point in the season? Been disappointing so far, but having got this cup tie could kickstart everything. Yeah, I mean it started Saturday. We we put in a great performance with a four 0 win up at Oldham, uh, clean sheet. We said again before before the game today that if we can keep a clean sheet, you know, win us the game. And um, we went out there, worked our socks off, and. Luckily, we got the we got the first goal, and then it sort of opened up, and we got the second. So I guess now the scramble starts for tickets, not just for the fans, but for for players and, and players' families. I imagine all the players' phones will be red hot in the next couple of days. I imagine so. Yeah. I, I mean, when when the draw happened, you know, I was getting messages and texts, but um, you know, I said, you know, we've got a game ahead of us yet. But um, yeah, I'm sure there'll be a few calls and texts going around and. You know, it's what you uh, it's what you dream of doing, what you want to do. You want to play against the best teams in the world, and they're certainly up there. Have you got close family and friends who are Man United fans? It seems everyone seems to know a lot of Man United fans. Yeah, well, they're all over the place, aren't they? Yeah, um, yeah I've got a couple of good friends, and um, they support Man United, so I'm sure they'll be uh, having a keen interest in it. But um, hoping they'll support me on the day. Thanks for your time tonight. Thank you. I mean, the Oval have a history of uh, <coughs> cup upsets over the years. Um, I know this is a huge feat to take them on. Can it be? Can you own wildest dreams? Think on those lines. You know, it's 90 minutes. Um, anything can happen in the cup, as you've seen throughout the years. So, yeah. you know, we we know that how good they are. We know we're under no illusions, and you know we've got nothing to lose really. It's a great game. It's a great game to be involved in. And we'll just go out there and give it our best shot. Yeah, huge park isn't exactly uh, Old Trafford, or is it? No, no, certainly <laughs> not. But you know, it was great, and the the atmosphere tonight, I thought it was brilliant. Yeah. Um, you could. I'm usually switched off from the crowd, but you couldn't really tonight. You could feel the tension almost in the air, and you know the buzz about the place as well. When you join the club, Simon, do you get made aware of the history that, that, that there is in the FA Cup here? Because you know it goes back. 60, 70 years back to the 1940s when you know they were sort of almost the original giant killing club. Do, do, do you get made aware of that? Um, no, you, no, no one will come and specifically point it out to yeah. you as such. But you pick things up along you must the way drink and, from the local people. Yeah, don't you? yeah, you know, talking to people and when things like this come around, you'll you'll hear people and they'll probably come and speak to you and yeah. you know tell you their tales and you know it's great. It's, it's what you what you want to play football mm. for and you know someone can tell our tale. 
in a few years down the line. Yeah, I mean, does it help when you're going towards a, a game like this to feel that you're sort of part of, of an FA Cup history, if you like, that, that, that there are legends here already and, and that, as you'd like you say, you can, you can join those legends? Yeah, um, it's, it's the FA Cup, isn't it? That's where mm. legends are made and the upsets that happen, you, ne you never know what's going to happen mm. and you, give, you go out there and give it your best shot and mm. who knows. Mm. What, what would it be like with the likes of kind of Wayne Rooney and Robin Van Persie out on the British Park pitch, do you think? Um, I, I just remember playing against him last time and Berbatov was on another level. He played that day and Ryan Giggs as well. And, you know, uh, they're class shows, you know, and you, you you actually see it there in front of you and you just got to do your best to try and step up to the plate and match them and um, outfight them. Um, but it would be great, you know, playing against him. Like, like I said before, that's what you want to do. You want to play against the best players and it gives us a chance to do that.